Hi, it's Heather with Murray's Home for Wayward Chickens. I've tried to make this video like three times already and I haven't been able to get through it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I apologize, I may have to pause it a few times to get through. I wanted to give you an update on Polly and the mycoplasma that we are still battling. We're still battling. So this is a pretty tough bout of mycoplasma that Polly's facing. We, we have been, um, we've been on uh, different antibiotics for um, over a month now. We got rid of that one big sore from the canker, uh, trichomonosis, that's caused by the antibiotics. We were able to get rid of that using the uh, monodiazole over the counter because there is not one that is FDA approved for chicken, for poultry due to them being considered meat birds, um, not approved in the U.S. for use in the U.S. But there are three different treatments for the canker that are available if the vet signs off that it is not for a food producing chicken. And so um, Dr. Jen was able to call that prescription in to, um, to Chewy today. And Chewy is gonna overnight or ship that to us. It should be here shortly. We got her a different antibiotic. She's still on the LA200 orally. She's on Thailand injectable. And TG picked up another antibiotic yesterday. I don't remember what it's called. It's something different to try to give her something different. The, the, Thailand is supposed to be the best. It isn't working anymore. It's not working. <laughs> Polly's struggling to breathe. She is congested. She's sneezing. She's coughing. And uh, the vet was able to help expectorate some of her mucus last week when she saw Polly. As I've told you guys so many times, mycoplasma is a fatal condition. It is incurable, but it's usually treatable depending on whether you catch it early or if you give it, you know, or how bad the, the bout is. We have dealt with mycoplasma on many, 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 many occasions some successful, many successful, and some not. Polly has had about a mycoplasma probably once a year, approximately, since we've gotten her. And she's usually pretty, very mild, quick. But over time, you know, it's gonna progress until eventually there's nothing else that you can do. And I've kind of been avoiding her a little bit because I'm in complete denial. It's gotten to the point where there is no more denial. She can't, she's struggling to breathe. She's gaping, she is raspy. We've got vet RX on her comb, her, her beak, on her chest to help break up the mucus. She is still able to, to, to breathe. It's just becoming more labored. And eventually, if we can't get the infection under control, she will struggle to breathe to the, we are, it's, you know. So I don't want to avoid her because I don't want something to happen to her and think that she was abandoned, you know. But I just couldn't handle seeing her like that. Excuse me. So I did. I've been going in there and holding her and stroking her, patting her. She still likes to tuck her head in my neck. It just, it's painful for me to hear her so congested and struggling and gaping. She's gaping a lot. Um, came up with a last ditch suggestion today that um, luckily the vet agreed with and thought was a pretty good idea. I have ordered Polly an oxygen tent from Amazon, which will be here on either Sunday or Monday. I ordered two of them because I didn't know who was gonna ship it faster. So whichever one gets here first, we keep. I just, I'm in the parking lot of a medical supply chain that takes prescriptions for oxygen tent tanks. Polly's getting an oxygen tank. 
the nebulizer that she's on, she's also using the nebulizer. It's not effective. We cannot get enough vapor out of this nebulizer to give her the breathable treatment of antibiotics through the nebula. It's, it's, it's not working. So this oxygen tent that I've ordered for Amazon is for dogs and cats. It was about $60. They have one for 45 or 50. Um, you can use a nebulizer. You can hook a nebulizer up to the tubes that go into the tent and give her the medicine that she needs that way. And she can also get oxygen therapy. Before you say it's crazy to try to do this for a chicken, the tank of oxygen is $25 a month. And I see no reason why that's not worth spending because the prescriptions cost more than that. If this works and buys us enough time to get the infection under control, and we could, we could, in essence, either save Polly or at least extend, extend her time comfortably while we look for other resources. She's been with us for between almost four years. She's lived in the house with us for four years. She's no different to us than to one of our dogs or cats, except sometimes, most of the time I like her better than the dogs. She's not annoying. And Taylor's really struggling with this. I know Taylor knows. Taylor's been following me around and squawking so much more than normal. She just wants to be held. Those two are a bonded pair because Polly being blind, Taylor shows her where the food is. And Taylor, the flock won't let Taylor out there. Taylor doesn't have any friends. Polly's her friend. I know she knows. So I don't just struggle for me being in denial that I can't. I don't want to face what may be inevitable because we have days. Once it gets to this point, you have days you can either fix it or you have to make decisions. <laughs> and I don't want Taylor to lose her friend because then Taylor's going to be by herself too. <laughs> this has just been really hard, but the tent won't be until Sunday. So I explained to the people at the medical supply chain what it was for. And they gave me a pediatric mask then at least I can try to give her some oxygen before the tent comes. And we've got all the hoses. So I wanted to give you the update because um, I think I mentioned her canker is back. She's got the big sore in her mouth. So we did get the prescription written for the, the one that's not FDA approved for poultry chickens, but we got it approved for a non-food bird through Chewy. I think I mentioned that. If you guys have questions or comments, I don't, I'm a little lost right now, so. Thank you to everyone who has sent us so many messages about Polly and well wishes. Have a good day.